Hey guys, this is Colin Warren, and today we're going to be looking at my remix of the Chainsmoker track, Take Away. You have for take away. So, we're just going to kind of go through it, uh, kind of how I developed it, and as I, you know, think of things to talk about for the track. But for m pretty much all my productions, uh, and where we'll start with this video, I like to start with just the melody. And by the melody, I mean kind of the corp crush in it. So that's kind of the foundation upon which the melodies, and, and by, for me, the melodies and by which the sound design and then the mixing, the mastering, all kind of fall out from. So to figure out the chord progression, I kind of just played it by ear on a piano because that's a, just a drill I just enjoyed doing for fun. Uh, also just verified online to make sure I got the chord progression right, just start typing like chain smokers, take away chord progression. And this allowed us to start with this. You have for take away, yeah, yeah, yeah. You have for take away. Yeah, nothing too fancy. Yeah, yeah. Basically, and kind of the premise of this whole track was I just wanted to be simple yet effective. Uh, so yeah, chord progression there for you guys are interested. Plugins, M MDA e piano, great soft uh, e piano, free. Uh, if you just look that up online, it's one of my favorite go-to ones. Um, yeah, so I could start with chord progression, and then to give it kind of a give the audience kind of a metronome to let them know, okay, where's the beat? Um, I decided to put kind of a ticking ticking sound. Uh, it's like to me, I, I didn't just like the sound of a metronome. Um, TikTok sound made it sound like there was like time was passing and there's a little bit more, um, I guess of an ethereal feel to it. Um, at least that's the, <laughs> that's the story I'll make up to make it sound cool. Like, yeah, I chose a TikTok sound because it's, it makes it sound timely and like something's building up. I'm really just sounded good and now I'm just posting to come up with a reason for it. Yeah, and then just some sweeps. All right, so then we had that. Yeah, and then this section, because chain smokers have been, a lot of the feel recently has been kind of like a live drum alt rock kind of meets EDM, if that makes sense. Not completely, uh, but at least this track had that kind of feel to it. So I decided to grab a uh, drum loop from the, I think it's Vengeance Pop Essentials three pack. Uh, that sounded pretty good to me. Uh, if we listen to just the drum beat, you have like a kick, but it's not it's not as punchy as it like in the low end. So I added just a uh, acoustic kick from the pack as well uh, to kind of oomph up the low end. And just a regular bass guitar that was pulled from uh, FL Studio. I think you hear here. Banyas, you can just go to instruments, bass, boom, right there. Yeah, that's pretty fine. I say it all. And then right here, I'm just kind of introducing the chords with a little filter, because uh, a lot of, you know, a lot of drops, you know, some of the only times you want them to jump out the eyes, like, whoa, I didn't hear that sound coming. Uh, but at least for this one, I kind of wanted to flow back and forth easily. Uh, so for this one, I kind of subtly introduce in the sense you hear in the drop. And then the drop it. Alright, so yeah, <laughs> that's the break. Pretty basic, but it carries up very well, at least in my opinion. So if we go to the drop, it is also quite simple. If we just solo the percussions, it's just kick and a few claps. Not much processing on any of them. The kick has, uh, the limiter is not actually doing anything. That's just me to kind of visually get a sense of what the waveform looked like. Filter is just there in the break to kind of take away some of the top end so we can leave. <clears throat> some energy for the crowd when the drop actually hits. That's one trick I like using. Take away the high end, the kick in the break, and then the drop, bring it back. So you have a little bit more that you're kind of revealing to the audience. Um, yeah, because it's all about, you know, hiding and then revealing uh, different elements of the track. So that's just kick clap. Clap does not have anything really fancy. In fact, it has nothing on it. <laughs> I haven't ride it to the, the reverb. That's crazy. Um, yeah, just a few layers. Just clap. High end, something with a little bit more body. And then something just kind of layered together that I thought kind of 
really gave the the uh, offbeat some oomph. Um, and then I offset, if we go to the piano roll, I just did a little trick I like using a lot where I just kind of offset the kicks by holding, or the claps by holding alt and then left clicking and dragging it. So, it, so you have a little bit more of a syncopated feel to it. Um, so yeah, that's the kicks and claps. Chords, pretty straightforward as well. Just to dissect them, one's like a super saw. Another one's piano. I like doing this synthetic meets digital fusion uh, that always has sounded good to me. Some white noise to brighten it up. And then just a guitar, uh, which is actually the Strat Position A, which is also from uh, these packs that come default with FL Studio. You can find down here. And again, not too much processing. The guitar here has a guitar rig on it. Just to make it sound like a guitar, just using this preset didn't really change anything there. Keys. It's a side chain. And, and the synth, yeah, again, not really any processing. This is just to kind of introduce it in in the buildup. And then the white noise, uh, just some, just to high pass the white noise as there's some frequency information down here I didn't want. So yeah, that's, those are the chords. And now the bass. Just the bass. Uh, just a preset and silent, pretty straightforward. Uh, a little sound good dizer, some side chaining, no EQing as you see. As a just as a sound, it sat well in the low end, and then a lead kind of subtly in the background. You don't hear it so much. It's not right in your face because the main vocals are kind of carrying it. But I wanted something kind of long and held out to contrast with the choppy chords, so I chose this melody. Again, not too much going on here. Synth, uh, also another silent preset. So a sound good dizer to make it pop. Guitar rig on another strat. So then if we bring it all together, this is what it sounds like. With the vocals, of course. I should probably talk about the vocals as well. Vocals is probably what has the most going on with it. Uh, here, there's a little bit of some, when I first heard the vocals, there's some harsh harmonics in the, like, the 10K range that I wanted to duck out, so I did a little bit of that. Uh, as I was going for kind of a hard rock feel or kind of an alt rock, I took the vocals, put it through a guitar rig, uh, just a vocal preset, 75%. Uh, some Spitfish uh, using the cheap condenser mic preset. Uh, so there's some harshes, harsh uh, syllabants that I wanted to kind of attenuate a bit. And then the serum to make the, so the sound wider. And then this EQ is just for a, is an effect they introduced later on. And so this will do. Yeah, but man, not super complicated. Just just a few effects that just give it a little bit more sparkle and that's it. And then just introduce space a loop over here. Again, nothing super fancy. It also helped that the vocals had a lot of layering already uh, when the stems came in. Um, so that already kind of made, really filled out the sound. So then all I had to really do is kind of fill out the backing instrumental. Yeah, so the second break, kind of the same. Uh, here's that low pass kick. So just like something to kind of, it sounds, it sounds really good on the dance floor when the second break, uh, if you have something kind of the low end to kind of keep the energy going, but not, you know, you want to leave room for the second drop, so I just have a low pass kick, going. and then of course the drums come back in. A little art, a little art action. Uh, nothing super crazy. Just another preset. We go to eight pattern eight. Uh, this pattern may look complicated. Basically, all I did was I took like the chords, uh, the chord progression, and then I go do this arpeggiate tool, and then I just kind of mess around with the time multi multiple multiplier until it sounds good and then a string section to kind of give it some long held out parts a little phaser action uh, narrow the stereo range a bit why the kind of reverb the fill up and just the build up and then just a snare roll chords builds up 
a little reverse kick. Uh, sometimes it is the ear candy that really sells it. And that just kind of helps swing it and bring in the drop. Yeah, and that's basically the track. Um, in terms of layout, in terms of mastering, again, nothing super fancy. Edison, this was just for some sampling I did. Uh, again, literally just ozone. <laughs> um, a little excitement in the top end, and then just put the limiter down. So I get, you know, some good, uh, some good limiting. And yeah, that's basically it. Uh, that's the quick walkthrough of my remix of the, my, at least my remix of Chainsmokers Takeaway. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you have any questions that you may want me to cover, talk about, you know, a little bit more in depth, feel free to post them down below and either I'll do another video maybe talking more about this in my remix uh, or maybe I'll just answer them in the comments. Uh, but yeah, I just want to say thank you very much for watching. Hopefully this was enjoyable. If you like this, be sure to like and subscribe if you want more content like this. If you do want to learn how to make a track like this from scratch, um, if you're maybe a new person or you want to learn how to make tracks in certain styles like the chain smokers or in dead mouse or martin garrix i do have some free and paid courses that i'll link to down below that kind of teaches you how to make one from start to finish using nothing but fl studio and most of the time stock fl studio plugins so yeah that's that's a little pitch out of the way hopefully this isn't helpful uh, take care you guys and look forward to seeing you in another video hopefully you have